Maybe you've encountered the need to apply metal grommets onto some garments. It's always an option, buttonhole or grommet. Maybe you've just done buttonholes so far. I'm here to show you how to install the grommets. It's super, super easy. I'm also sharing when I wouldn't bother to put in a grommet and just do a buttonhole. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from liftingpinsandneedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing limitless sewing and today is all about grommets talking about a little round metal contraption that you install onto your fabric and this allows you to put in a drawstring or a cord you usually find some type of casing around the area <laughs> around hoods neckline collars sometimes in hems different areas and they're so pretty i didn't have any for a very long time and back then i was just doing buttonholes it's always an option you know buttonhole will achieve the same purpose but in 2020, I was sent this. This is a little pack, looks like that. This is from Amazon. It's very popular. I think it's easy to find, except in Brazil. <laughs> and it's got all the tools you need and they come in little packs with like 100 or 200, you have a lot. And you'll find them in different metallic tones like silver, gold, brass, black even. If you don't have any yet, get yourself some. I will leave you a link I found of this same kit from Amazon. And recently I've been putting a few onto some garments. I decided to create this video all about grommets on its own because it's not about a specific pattern. This is a general technique so you can come back and refresh. This is not something that we're doing every day. And it is pretty common that if you've done it a bit and then you stop doing it for a while, you might just forget which way to put the fabric and little things like that. So I hope this helps. When you're looking at sizes, there are smaller ones and larger ones. I think the ones that are more appropriate for garments are the ones that have half an inch diameter on the inside of the circle. That will allow you to pull any drawstring that you make yourself from the same fabric or any cord. There are smaller ones, a quarter of an inch, and I think those are just too small and anything you put through there is gonna be super tight. I suggest half an inch. I think that one works for everything. I want to mention a few things that are general about them, just as an introduction. One of them is that you need to stabilize the area where the grommet is going to be. You do this on the wrong side of the fabric. Your pattern will usually have a mark, a dot, some type of reference for you, and you need to fuse a little bit of interfacing onto that area. Usually a square that's one inch will do it, that will be enough. If you're doing this with a neat fabric, that interfacing is gonna eliminate the stretch in that area. You want to use interfacing that doesn't stretch to stabilize for both wovens and knits, and it's just gonna give you an area that's more structured. If you don't put anything there over time, the fabric might stretch out a little bit and the grommet could fall off. So don't forget to stabilize at the back. Related to the same aspect is another thing. When you fuse your interfacing, you might not be able to see the little mark you had originally there, the, the dot. Sometimes you might, depends if you're using white interfacing and it's sort of transparent, maybe you can see your original dot, but you might not. Really important to mark that accurately again, just take your pattern piece, put it on top and make the dot again. Usually you have these on one side and the other, you want them to be symmetrical, you want them to be at the same level. So don't rush over things like that, like marking and making sure that everything is right where it has to be so you don't end up with lopsided grommets. You usually install your grommets where they have to be at the beginning of your project so it's not down the line when you have a bunch of seams that are already sewn. Usually if you wait longer to do it sort of at the end it'll be much more difficult to have access to be hammering in and, and making your little opening so if you decide you're going to do grommets, decide it early on and get that done before you're super advanced in your make. And in a bit, I'm going to show you one project where I made that mistake of leaving the grommets till the very end. It just turned out more difficult. I was still able to put them in, but it would have been easier to do it at the start. Now, you are making a sizable hole into your fabric, so you might be nervous about doing this. Look, I'm going to be honest, I get nervous every time I'm going to do this as well. I'm not going to lie, I get a little bit of a tachycardia just thinking about making the hole into my fabric maybe if it was something that we were doing every day you wouldn't have that feeling but this is something you do every now and then so I suggest take a scrap put a bit of interfacing on it just practice maybe look at this video again and see the steps again so you make sure you have the fabric in the right way that you're putting the little tools in the correct way and just practice one just get it out of the way and that will give you the confidence to do the final ones on your actual garment. I've never installed grommets on a garment without testing it first and trying it out and I feel much happier about doing it then. And another thing I want to point out is that the technique is the same for wovens and knit fabrics. You can put these onto a variety of garments and it doesn't really matter the fabric type. 
so don't think it's different this can work for whatever so on the example where i'll show you i'm sewing a waistband for some athletic joggers and they have grommets in the center front i haven't shown that garment on the channel yet but you'll see it soon i want to share one of my tips that's a little unconventional you might have had the experience of one falling off or the fabric stretching out on one of the sides and you think why <laughs> Well, that has happened to me and I found a way to get a really firm grommet. So let's see, it's very short. Now you have this little round thing, that's where you're gonna put the grommet. That is the reference mark. And on my fabric, I've got it there with a black dot. Over this little black dot, I'm gonna fuse a little square of interfacing, it's about an inch. This is pretty transparent, so I'll just center that on top and fuse that right on. Make sure you've got the glue side down, it's really hard to tell sometimes. So there it is. And I'll just repeat the same on the other side. And then we'll get our grommets in. I have already started with my grommets, but I want to share with you a little trick. So remember I had a little black mark, that's where the grommets go. I used this from Amazon. Now when this was new, this thing was sharp and I could just put this center over my mark and hammer it. This would cut out a little circle of fabric. Over time this has lost its sharpness. If I try to hammer it and everything, it doesn't do a thing to the fabric. But I keep using it and it's better actually. So what I did was just take a regular marker and I just put a little bit of ink there. Make sure you can do that. I mean, I don't really mind. This is a print. You're not going to see the ink mark at any point. That's how I did it. And then I just centered this off and I just went like that and I got a little faint red mark like that really nice looking circle and then what I did was just poke a tiny hole with a tiny scissors and then I cut the fabric inside but not right along the line I want my opening to be smaller than the actual opening so what I found when I used to make the holes with this tool was that with a knit even if it is interface it does still tend to stretch and there's a risk of the grommet over time just coming out so that's not cool <laughs> but since i started making this opening smaller it's worked very well there's more fabric inside and it just seems to hold the grommet for longer so that is my trick for grommets more important in knits for sure i think in wovens the fabric will be much more stable but when I put grommets on wovens, I do this as well. Just cut it out. You know, you probably have a tiny scissors with a sharp point. Just poke it in and cut around. And then with this one, I have this tool that's like a tall little base. Make sure your fabric is always wrong sides up so you end up with a grommet the right way. And then these grommets have two sections. You have this taller one and this very flat one. This taller one is the one you want to place right there. And this is what you want to poke through the opening you made in your fabric so it'll be snug but it's it's possible and then you take this flat end the one that's supposed to be here is a little rounder and the one under here is a little flatter so just make sure the rounder bit is up here looking at you and we're just gonna put that through like that then you have this and this is what you put right here and then hammer it check out the cutest little hammer so that's how the grommet looks on the wrong side and this is how it looks on the right side it looks really nice so easy peasy, use my trick of cutting your hole a tiny bit smaller and you're gonna end up with a really nice firm grommet that doesn't come off and the fabric doesn't start falling off the sides over time. If you love this content and you find it helpful for your own sewing, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on this fun sewing content. I think the fact that this little tool lost its sharpness is sort of a blessing in disguise because it just made me brainstorm and think of another way to do it. And by doing it, I figured out that making the hole a little smaller than this was gonna turn out better. When I'm working with a darker color, I'll get my yellow coloring pencil dipped in water. It turns a little bit pasty and I just sort of paint it around there and boop, it's like a little stamp that you put on the fabric. It's so easy. This is the way, that is my trick. That is how I get my grommets to be firm and the fabric not falling off the sides. And it works really well. I can vouch for this. It works really well. You usually find grommets associated to a type of casing, of course. Have a look at this one. So you can see the gold grommets there and the top stitching here that creates the casing. This is a knit, so it'll be done with a twin needle. But if you're doing this with a woven, you will just do a straight stitch. And you're going to go really close to the grommet when you're sewing this casing. So just make sure you know that you're going to be close if you're using a regular presser foot. The presser foot is going to sort of lift and go over the grommet, but it doesn't really affect the stitch. You'll still get the stitch there and it'll still be good. Maybe you want to try sewing your casing with a zipper presser foot and that would give you a closer access without the presser foot having to go over 
the grommet, but I haven't had any issues. I've been able to just sew normal with my regular presser foot. But just be aware, slow down. Maybe you want to hand crank that area where you're just going over the grommet and everything will be fine. This is the example I was showing you in the video. These are a pair of joggers with an elasticated waistband. There is an elastic inside and a casing here for the cord and the two grommets to bring out the cord. Really nice, comfortable, it lets you adjust the joggers to your waist. And you'll find grommets in waistbands quite a lot. I think it's a pretty common feature that you'll see in a lot of patterns. You'll see this project on the channel very soon. So for most garments, you need two, maximum four grommets. I've never installed more than four. If you get these packs that have 100 or, or 200, you can make a lot of garments that have grommets. So for example, the page hoodie from Chalk and Notch has two here at the hood area where you have this. I've chosen the golden metal because it matches the sort of animal print going on here. You also have them at the hem. The drawstring I made fell off. They're quite slippery because I made mine out of rayon. I need to sort that out. I need to make other drawstrings for this project. <laughs> but yeah, I think it looks really nice and I think the grommets just elevate it. It looks so much nicer than if it was just a buttonhole there, you know? Now, I suggested that it was a good idea to make up your mind if you're gonna use them at the start of the project and not leave it to the end or thinking I'm undecided, I'll decide later. It will just make it harder. And this is what I did with this one. This is a Uvita top, which is a free pattern from each to stitch. And it's got like a hoodie version. The hoodie is lined and I have the grommets right there. And it would have been so much easier to put the grommet in before sewing the main hood to the lining hood. It was just so much harder to do it when I didn't have the proper access. And I'm talking about interfacing the area at the last minute, hammering in that grommet when I had seams right next to it. So it wasn't that easy. It was still possible, but it would have been so much better if I just decided from the get-go that I was gonna use grommets and not buttonholes, you know? So far, I've shown you neat examples and here I have something in woven which I haven't shown on the channel yet. This is the top part on the collar and there's one on each side. I chose the golden color because it matches the zipper teeth. Here you can see it at the center front on the bottom as well. So for this jacket I had to use four grommets and because I was making them in linen fabric it made me especially nervous because it's a pricey fabric. And yeah, I didn't want to ruin it. So for this one, I guess I practiced two on a scrap before doing the final thing. Now I said in the past I used buttonholes and I was quite happy with that. That was the only option I had. And ever since having grommets, I feel so much happier. I think garments look so much nicer, much more professional. But there's a situation where I would not put grommets and I would just do a buttonhole. And I really want to save my grommets. I have a limited supply in this little box, so I really want to use them for visible areas. And for example, I made this winter thigh jacket from each to stitch. This one has a casing that's inside, so it's not on the outside. And you have the cord coming out and this piece that regulates it, that toggle. So you could have put a grommet there, but I decided not to because no one's gonna see it. It's inside, so what is the point? And the second reason is grommets are metal. They have some type of width and weight there. So having the toggle right here, which is already bulky, plus the grommet will just create double bulk in this area of the front there that I don't really need. The buttonhole is neat. I did it with the blue thread, allows the cord to come out of the casing and it achieves the purpose. And I don't need to have a really pretty grommet in there because no one's gonna see it. I hope you like this, short and sweet. I hope it helps. Come back to this video when you have a project with grommets so you can refresh, you can do them in no time and it just makes the garment look so nice. I'll see you again super, super soon with more sewing on this channel. Bye.